Hey crew friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I am here with another video for you guys. So yes, I know it's been a while, but I am here to talk about all my tips for accelerating your hair growth from your scalp and retaining the length on your head. So first thing for me with my hair growth journey, I had to take a really good look at what was causing my setbacks and the damage that I had um, obtained and why I wasn't retaining length and what was um, what was needed to accelerate the growth of my hair so that I could grow my hair back from the damage and the setbacks that I had. So for me, straightening my hair was my downfall. So straightening my hair every two weeks when I first went natural, all while still having color that was also damaging to my hair at the time. So doing all those things, but I was still, you know, at a glance when you looked at my hair, it looked healthy. So, you know, I was still getting my hair trimmed, but I was trimming off damage. So, you know, it looked healthy, but I was trying to get to a certain length and I wasn't getting there whatsoever year after year. Either it was getting shorter because I just wouldn't let go of certain things or it was just sitting at the same length. So for me, I just removed heat. So I think once you figure out what the problem is, if you remove the problem and then continue on your healthy hair journey, you'll be able to see a difference. So for me, I started to, I removed heat, but I did not get rid of color. So for me, I had to choose one or the other. So I removed the heat. I started doing like 30 days. Then I did every 60 days and then three months and then six months. So I kind of just you know, phase it out. If it's something that you really like doing and it's kind of, you know, just slowly but surely remove it from your routine if it's something that you just can't get rid of cold turkey. So I immediately noticed a difference. My hair started to retain more length. I was able to still trim off the damage, but, but still maintain, you know, some of that growth that I was achieving. So once you figure out what the problem is and you made those changes then you continue on to make sure that you have a healthy hair routine so for my routine i wash weekly i deep condition weekly and then for my needs of my hair being that i'm colored i have to make sure that i have moisture all the time so i don't shampoo every wash just because i don't want to dry out my color and um, for me if i'm doing a wash and go and i don't apply additional products before my next wash day I'll do a coat wash or use a cleansing conditioner. And then, for example, if I'm doing a bun like this, I've had this in for about four or five days, and I know I've already added more product, I've added more or more edge control, I've, you know, done different things. So I could have potential product buildup if I just used a cleansing conditioner. So I would shampoo on my next wash. And deep conditioning is a really big part of my routine. I make sure that I use deep conditioners that have the ingredients that my hair needs, especially with moisture um, is a really big thing when you have color. Moisture is the biggest element of any healthy hair routine, especially if you try to retain length. So especially the oldest parts of my hair, I want to make sure that those are the most moisturized parts and that I'm just giving it everything I have just because I've altered my cuticle by being colored. So if you want to check out my 12 days of deep conditioners, I went through 12 different deep conditioners and why I like them. So the main thing is learning what your hair likes and getting those ingredients that, you know, will appeal to the needs that your hair is having right now. So once you have that healthy routine, you know, you want to add trims to that routine as well. So for me, because I don't straighten my hair as often, I may not trim as often as someone else who straightens their hair on a regular basis. So if I do blow out my hair for a style, I'll kind of like dust it and just check in on my ends. I kind of, you know, gauge it by what my ends look like. And then when I do get my hair straightened, I'll get a real good trim at that time. So I don't really have a good, good trim schedule, but I do trim my hair often enough to where I feel like, you know, we're at a good place. So now that you've got your healthy hair routine in place, you figured out what your hair needs, now you can begin to retain length. So for me, when I was, you know, going through my damage and trying to get rid of my setbacks, I did not do a big chop. So I kind of kept my hair at a length, certain length, and I was just slowly trimming off the damaged ends. I had about three inches that I was getting rid of. So when I finally got rid of all that, I'm like, okay, now I want to, you know, retain this length. I want to keep, keep it going. So the first thing to do that would be to accelerate the growth out of your scalp so for me on average I think I'm like a fourth to a half inch a month 
And so I know with supplements, I'm able to like double that. So um, supplements that I like to use over the years have been Hairfinity, uh, Maintabolism, and then recently since I've had Jalen, I started using Hairdemon uh, Mom. So it kind of replaces my postnatal vitamin and it's also a prenatal vitamin if you're pregnant. So this, um, it's postnatal and hair nutrition. So it's giving me the vitamins that I need after having a baby and it's also going to accelerate my hair growth as well. So that's, I'm not using them right now because I'm taking another vitamin and I kind of did want to make sure I was having too much of a good thing. So I will get back to those once I finish this last bottle of supplements that I'm taking now for breastfeeding. So that is another video that I also wanted to get into if you guys want to know about my breastfeeding journey that I've made it a year. So that's a whole nother story. But the other supplements work just fine. I think I have a few videos over the years on metabolism, and I use Hairfinity a lot when I was transitioning initially. So those are uh, what I'm using for supplements. Uh, massaging my scalp is a really big thing to accelerate your hair growth as well. So if you're not using supplements or if you feel like supplements are something that may break you out, I haven't had those problems, but I know a lot of people um, have issues with breakouts when using supplements. And I know with any vitamin or any um, hair supplement, you wanna make sure you're drinking a lot of water. So. Um, drinking water without taking supplements is also great for accelerating your hair growth rate as well. So for scalp massage, it's really good to massage your scalp for five minutes every day. I know it's like, who's going to remember to do that? But if you kind of get like a routine, like you do it before bed, that's really good. Um, but I've learned that certain oils is best or certain oils is best to do them like midday or in the morning instead of putting the oil on your scalp and then laying down. So I heard that tip. I was like, wow, so I've been doing it wrong all this time. So yes, five minutes a day, massaging your scalp with any oils. Lately, I've been using Kaleidoscope. I've used, Curls has a really good oil and theirs has a mint, it's like a mint scalp treatment. I like that because you can like feel it working. Um, Main Choice has a really good growth oil. There's so many different oils um, that are out there, but mainly um, you want to just use something that's going to accelerate hair growth. It's going to, you know, once you massage that in, it's going to be helpful either way. So that's going to be a good boost to accelerate your hair growth rate. And then once you get that healthy hair routine down to maintain the length, you're going to be winning. So comment down below let me know what you think of these tips have you been trying them have you been removing the bad things from your hair routine and have you seen any results so comment down below let me know what you want to hear i do have a few videos in mind for you guys like i did want to talk about my baby story i know i don't really get too personal on here but i kind of want to change that this year and share more with you all other than just my hair tips which i can talk about all day but i do want to let you guys in a little bit more so i did want to do my baby story even though it's a year late i know i kind of just popped up with a baby so i kind of want to talk about that and the struggles that i had you know my first year as a mom and everything that led up to me having Jalen. so if you're interested in that let me know i'd love to share that with you I do have some other videos in mind, so let me know any hairstyles that you want to see, any products you want me to try. So yeah, I'm going to get better. I promise I'm kind of getting a schedule now to where I know each week how many videos I want to, you know, get back to. So I want to do this more for you guys. So let me know what you want to see. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will list the products that I mentioned, the supplements and the hair oils in the description box. So as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. That was probably so much. Wash your hands. Hi. Why do you want this stuff over here? It's not even appealing. You're not gonna let mommy do this?
No. No. Why not? No. I'm just trying to help some people out. No. 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 Why not? 